will the virtuous Sangha out of compassion for the sake of this assembly and all living beings. Please turn the wonderful Dharma will to teach and guide us how to end birth and death, leave suffering and attain bliss, and quickly realize non-birth. Hương thính đại đức tặng thân Vì thứ pháp hồi cập nhật thiết chủng sanh Tình chuyến diệu pháp luân giao đạo ngã như há liêu sanh thỏa tư ly khổ đạt là tất chương vô sanh. How much the blessed, noble, and perfectly enlightened one? Namo Sananto Suchedo Ye Ola Hudi San Miao San Puto Se. Namo Dadakta Toya Daya Ala De Tamio Tambo Da Toa. The unsurpassed, profound, subtle, and wonderful Dharma, a hundred thousand million aeons, is difficult to encounter. Now that I'm able to see in here, I will receive and maintain it. I vow to fathom the thus come one's true and our principles. Wu shang sheng sheng wei miao fa ba hei jian wan jian an zao yu. Wo jin jian wen te shou chi Yuan jie ru lai chen shi yin O Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, Venerable Huynang, Venerable Shenhua, Venerable Left Home People, and all good new advisors are meet all for. Chu Fo Pu Sa, Liu Tzu, Shu Fu Shang Ren, Ge Wei Chu Cha Ren, Ge Wei Shang Chi Shi, and Mi To Fo. Chi Phật Bồ Tát, Kinh Thư Lục Tổ, Hòa Thượng Kinh Hóa, Quý Thầy Cô và Kỳ Vị Thiện Trí Thức A Như Đà Phật. Hello everyone, we are here on the 19th of September 2021 at Wei Mountain Temple to continue discussing the last instructions of the patriarch, the sixth patriarch, to his disciples. Mm. Uh, we are on slide 275. 275? Okay, 274. The text that we started, uh, the, we started at the first two lines of the, of the verse, but now we go to the third line. If in this life you encounter the door of the certain teaching, let's move on, follow up with the uh, next uh, uh, slide to 76. You will be certainly enlightened to your self-nature and see the honor of the world. If you wish to cultivate and aspire to Buddhahood, you won't know where the truth is to be sought. Okay, very good. Uh, again, there's no, no commentary at all. Okay, and that's wing it. If you don't know where the truth is to be sought, what? Okay, no, the other one. Uh, 
Uh, and if, if in this life you encounter the door of a certain teaching, this translation, you will be suddenly enlightened to yourself, nature, and see the honor of the world. Okay? Uh, let's see what it means. If in this life you encounter the door of a certain teaching, that's correct. Okay? So, uh, if you're able to hear, uh, to, to, to meet with a certain uh, teaching, Dharma door, okay? meaning that um, the fact of the matter is it's extremely difficult to meet with the certain teaching. Okay? In fact, um, to meet here, uh, to encounter dun uh, uh, yu so uh, this this uh, this uh, uh, encountering here uh, refers to uh, uh, in in Chinese you the yu or yu with with uh, this character here yu okay. Uh, uh, this e here, uh, from what I, from my, my, uh, the best of my recollection, thank you very much, best of my recollection, e here, refers to meet with someone. Am I correct, Chinese people? People who understand Chinese. Don't have to be Chinese. I sort of gave up on the Chinese already. Huh? Yes? Go ahead. Yellow. It means encounter, encountering. Yeah, encountering. But usually it's not encountering a person. That's a context. No? Not, not necessarily. Not necessarily? Okay. You encounter the certain teaching Dhamma door. Okay. So uh, this encountering here is to meet with. Uh, but uh, in the context of uh, Mahayana, in the concept of Chan, uh, there's a connotation of encountering or meeting with a good known advisor. It's only in Chan school. Uh, the stress in a Chan school is you meet with a good known advisor, and usually it's a chance encounter, okay? Or it's a rare occurrence. It's very difficult to meet with a good known advisor. Extremely difficult. And actually, uh, uh, and actually, it's a rare, it's a, it's a rare chance encounter, and and you can't plan for that. Uh, uh, so that has has a two connotation in a Chan school. Yu, yu here, this Chinese character here, from where from what I picked up from the Chinese uh, Chan text, the Chinese uh, Chan teachings, is that mm, uh, encounter here. You meet with a good no advisor. Okay. Okay, and or also has also the connotation. It's a it's a it's a very rare occurrence. It's a chance occurrence. It's very rare. It's very difficult. Uh, it's unlikely to happen. Chinese people, help me out. What happened to Jane? Jane just kind of disappeared. Huh? Anyone else? China experts. Okay. Meditation experts, I'm, de I'm desperate. What I'm driving at is that mm, point number one, extremely difficult to encounter or to find or to locate the certain teaching. That's point number one. Okay? That's implied in this China, uh, Chinese uh, Chinese teaching, okay, this, this verse here, okay, to encounter the certain teaching is extremely difficult, number one, okay, we all know that already, but this is the context, uh, the context uh, of, uh, of uh, the Chan, the Chan world, you know, uh, and number two is that the Yu here, actually, in a Chan context is to meet 
with a good known advisor. Yu shan chi shi is a, is, a, is a phrase, okay? To encounter or meet with a good knowing advisor. Okay? In Chan world, that's what you do, okay? You meet a good, good no advisor. You look for a good no advisor. So you, in a Chan world, you look for a good no advisor and for you to yu. So you, 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 you seek a good no advisor. Qiu shan zhi shi. Okay? It's you seek a good no advisor. Do Koreans have that? The Vietnamese don't have that con uh, concept, by the way. The Vietnamese do not have the concept of, uh, of uh, seeking a good no advisor. Not such a thing. They seek a teacher, maybe, but they don't have a concept of good no advisor, like a Chinese. So it uh, tells you that this, this uh, Chan thing here is not entirely uh, made available in Vietnam yet. I'm curious about the Koreans. Do you have Koreans? Do you have the concept of yu shan chi shi or qiu shan chi shi? To seek a good no advisor, to meet with a good no advisor. Do you have it or not? I'm curious. Of course, this is an entirely Mahayana context. Unless you have Mahayana chan, you don't have these, these concepts at all. So that's why there's no point asking the Sri Lankans, the Thai, and the Tibetans, and so forth. You know, they won't have this concept. Okay? And for example, Tibetans say, I believe in Dalai Lama, I believe in the Lama, and so forth. But, but no, uh, it's, it's not the belief. It's about being able to seek and to encounter a good no advisor. Koreans, help me out, please. Uh, five. Yeah, yes, we have. You have. Go on. <laughs> yes, we have. 한국에서는 선지식을 항상 만나야 된다고 하고 찾아야 된다고 얘기하고 있습니다. 그리고 깨달음의 3대 조건 중에 세 가지 중에 선지식, 도량. 그리고 도반이 있는데 항상 선지식을 우선순위에 놓고서 얘기를 하는 경우가 많습니다. In Korea, uh, we learn that we need, we must seek or meet with a good knowing advisor, and uh, we also learn there are three requisites for the alignment. Number one, good knowing advisor. Number two, way place. Number three, uh, people who studies with me. Uh, but the most important thing is the good knowing advisor. Can't argue with that. And why aren't you enlightened? You know what to do. How come you're not enlightened? Serious. I'm curious. Why aren't you enlightened? The Chinese. The Chinese, they say, Qiu shan zhi shi. Seek a good no advisor. Qin jin shan zhi shi. Qiu shan zhi shi. And then you, 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 yu shan zhi shi. Okay. And you encounter the good no advisor. Okay. So, and they are so many Chinese people are enlightened. How come the Koreans have the similar concept? And excuse me, how come you so few of you are enlightened? I only count a handful. One, two. What's wrong? What's lacking? Does anyone know? See, that, that sound Chan teaching, okay? The good advice is key in the Mahayana Chan, Mahayana meditation, okay? Uh, that's the only, uh, the only area in Mahayana where the concept of good advisor is central to your emancipation, to your enlightenment. It's so central. Okay? Mm. Then how come? How, so that's why unless you're in Mahayana Chan, you don't have that kind of concept. Okay? It's not a teacher. It's a good known advisor. It's a lot more than that. That's a lot more than a teacher. Okay? 
Good no advisor is a very profound concept. Simply not a teacher. Yeah. Uh, so, and how come you're not enlightened? What's lacking? You, you have the theory of the, how come the practice is not is not is not successful. Master, uh, in my case, the reason why I'm here. Mm. 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 <laughs> it's because the model is not complete. What's lacking? What's lacking? Hey, you guys, you Koreans want to be enlightened. What's lacking? You have a good no advisor, you have a way place, you have a co-cultivator. What's lacking? It's not just Korea. China right now as well. Hmm? They have to say they have the model. Good no advisor, have the way place. They have they have the uh, co cultivators, you know, like uh, Wu Tai Shan, that's the area where they hide and they cultivate together quietly without you know, without being exposed to the uh, outside world corruptions. Okay? How come few few are online? The, the bunch of them over there are four stage ahad. Very rare to find a line. Why? Number four. Master, is it because that they're lacking in blessings? Exactly. They're lacking blessings. You can have a way place. You can have a teacher. Well, if it's a teacher, whatever the teacher teaches you, you don't get it. What are you going to do? What is the teacher going to do? Huh? I tell you to be truthful. What do you do? You lie. You cheat. I tell you to be honest. The Master Shenhua, one of the Wei Yang doctrine he, he gave us is doctrine number six. Don't lie. Because you lie, you will not become enlightened. And what do you do? You lie. You recite it every day. And as soon as I have my back turned, you lie. You think the sages would teach us those things without reason? The Dharma is there. It's just that we teach you, but you don't get it. You refuse to do it. It's not we're not willing to teach you, because you can't do it. It's because you don't have enough blessings. The people with blessings will do the right things. Without having any wisdom, they do the right things. What right things? They follow the instructions. The people who have no wisdom, but who has no blessings, will not follow instructions. And that's a problem with that model. The Korean model is that you find a teacher, okay? Uh, we're not going to comment about the teacher. Let's say you find a great teacher like uh, Sung Cho Sunim or Chung Hua Sunim, okay? They, these are enlightened monks. You find them, okay? Yeah, fine. And they build a way place for you. Yeah. And you have a bunch of very good uh, co cultivators as well. How come they're not enlightened? Because they don't have enough blessings.
Why don't they have enough blessings? Should be the question. Next. Yes? But that's a paying session. Okay. I cannot give you everything for free. Hmm? Same thing. After Master Shehu died, how come none of me is enlightened? The third generation. Huh? How come? They have good no advisors, plenty of them. They have the way places, like 40, 50 way places. Okay? They have co cultivators, you might call that. How come they're not enlightened? Same problem. No blessings. The facts don't lie. You can talk all you want. But Everything we do here is in order for you to become enlightened. You're not enlightened, then we fail. Okay? You've, you come here to our temple, you're not enlightened, then we fail. It's our fault, not your fault. It's your fault you don't follow instructions. It's my fault if I don't give you the proper instructions. Questions, comments. To a great teacher like Master Shenhua, we don't judge them by the temples, by the notoriety, by the number of disciples, number of followers. We judge them by number of enlightened disciples. Period. It's our world is very unforgiving. You can do anything you want. You can talk all you want. But are your disciples enlightened? And he's a great teacher because his disciples are enlightened. So many of them. My generation, we have a lot of enlightened people. Third generation, <laughs> because we stopped helping your generation generate blessings. The Dharma is there, the teachings is there. We hide under his shadows, that's fine too. But we are not helping you nurture your good roots. We are not helping you accumulate oodles and oodles upon oodles, layers upon layers of blessings. I was telling my disciple, I said, I don't want to grow. I'm per perfectly comfortable where we are. Why do we need to grow? Look at this. There's so much empty space. <laughs> you know, you, got, you, you, you do all this trouble, all this money, and all this blood and sweat for what? For 10 of you? <laughs> this is ridiculous. All we have to do is squish it into that room in the parlor there, and we perfectly, that suits all our needs. Eating to drinking to you know to listening to Dharma to sleeping everything else huh why do we need this place it's not for me it's for you because this place has so much work <laughs> that I can't possibly do so you have to pitch in that's the difference in the model. When Master Shenhua was alive, they worked their butts off. After he's dead, I don't know what they're doing. Because I don't see anyone who's enlightened. You know, to the point where they have to send spies over here to learn from us. Isn't that ridiculous? Spine number one, spine number two, and so forth, and so on, and so on, and so on. Hmm? 
Mm, what's that? Okay? It's not talk. You can't just talk and say, yeah, I know what to do. If you know what to do, how come you're not enlightened? I'm trying to tell you, there are good no advisors. My generation has a lot of enlightened people. You can meet a lot of them. They're near the tree, you know, near that DRBA there. Okay? Very close. But you don't have enough blessings. You have to find a way to plant blessings, boys and girls. It doesn't matter who you are. Okay? You can talk all you want. The good no, good no advisor can talk all they want, but you don't have enough blessings, you won't get it. So I tell you the plant blessings, Oh no, 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 no. You, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't understand that, that the first thing you do is plant blessings. You want to improve? You plant blessings. You will improve. You don't plant blessings? You will not improve. I don't care how long you sit. Hey, girl. Hmm. Yeah, come join us. Huh? Question from JMT. Yes, Master. Um, is that uh, a good knowing advisor is, um, have the ability to help uh, to accumulate blessings too? Excuse me. Repeat is the that, question. Um, what the, the, as a good knowing advisor has the ability to help uh, cultivators to accumulate their blessings too. Yeah, good knowing advisor should buy temples. She so get temples bigger than they need. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course. A good no advisor part of the teaching, like Master Shenhua did, is to help his pupils plant blessings. That's how his pupils became enlightened. In that system, my generation, uh, uh, where that, go, that spy number one came from, in that system, they became enlightened because they created a lot of blessings. Okay, but the third generation, because they don't create enough blessings, that's why they're not enlightened. Okay? Uh, so the Koreans, the same thing. Uh, the Koreans, they, they, they have the recipe, they have the formula, but they, they don't have the chance to plant blessings. See, you can listen to Avatam Saka all you want. You can listen to the Six Patriarch all you want. It will not sink in. It's not like the, the Hinayana world where you sit there and you meditate and you become enlightened. It doesn't work like that in Mahayana. It's too slow for Mahayana. Mahayana is you encounter a certain teaching. How do you encounter the certain teaching? Because you have the blessings to be able to meet with the certain teaching. You don't have the blessings, forget it. It's not about how wealthy you are. It's not about how, how smart you are, how educated you are, how, uh, how whatever you are, okay? Whatever you can think of, it's not that. Uh, it takes blessings to be able to meet with it. Okay? So that's why back then in, in, in the Buddha's time, these people met with the, the Buddha is because they have tremendous blessings. Okay? And the Buddha's 
and and they they didn't need to create more blessings and they met they created blessings with the buddhas already is it clear his disciples spend lifetime after lifetime after lifetime planting blessing with shakyamuni buddha you understand so that's why that's why when they met with him again all the buddha had to do is say hey ashnata kondinya don't be fooled by guest dust. And Ashna Kondinya, oh, yeah, guest dust, of course. And he became, he reached first stage of hardship. Whereas before that, he was meditating for years and years in a deer park. And said, mm, oh, mm, and nothing happened. And only one teaching, a guest dust. Ashna Kondinya, hey, don't be, don't be, don't be confused by guest dust. And he, boom! That's a certain teaching right there. And the reason he clicked is because he has prior blessings. So, I'm trying to remind you that Chan training is unlike you, Westerners, Western educated people, are you are accustomed to. Okay? You're accustomed to Paying for your tuition and fees. You're accustomed to the model of meditation that give, they gave you is you go and you cross your legs or you meditate and you want to get somewhere. It doesn't work like that. In a China world, okay, it's a special thing. Don't be fooled. This is why we're different from the Chinese. The Chinese, they follow these things. They meet with no advisor. The Korean meet good, no advisor. Find a way place. There's a nice, peaceful place uh, away from the noise, away from the chaos. And then you find a good cold cultivator, okay? Especially, preferably bodhisattvas and ahats and so forth. You can go to the Master Shenhua's environment. You still won't get enlightened. Because you have no blessings. The reason that you can sit and meditate and you become enlightened is because you have prior blessings. You don't have prior blessings, you can meditate all you want. Is it talking to you, Westerners, Western educated people? Say, oh, how come I come to the temple and I, you know, I follow instructions. I, you know, I did all this. I, you, I did everything you told me to do. I told you the plant blessings too, but somehow it went over your head. <laughs> goes in one ear and goes out the other. Oh, no. Nah. No. I don't need that. So yes, Master Z's question is correct. The good no advisor, part of the requirements of being good no advisor is to help the students plant blessings. So when a Master Xinhua was alive, his students helped him uh, his students planted blessings by helping him propagate the Dharma. Sound familiar, huh, spine number one? Spine number one never be, was enlightened over there is because she never really helped them at all propagate the Dharma. Okay? Uh, so, hmm, after he died, what Dharma propagation is there? has been done in the last 25 years. Not much. How many books were translated? Not many. 
How many sutras was explained? I'd say about a dozen in 25 years. I would hardly call the explanations. Okay? Number three. Does our hot disciples bodhisattvas now? Repeat that. This is from Alta D. Are Shakyamuni Buddhas our hot disciples bodhisattvas now? Yes. None of them really is an arhat. They all pretend to be arhats. Okay. Mm. So anyway, uh, that's why when is your turn to become a good new advisor? Be aware that we have, you have, to help your students plant blessings. Okay? Uh, uh, of course, there's always exceptions where they have blessings already, so they only need, all they need is the Dharma. Okay? And the rest of it. And once you have the blessings, then you can have the good no advisor. Okay, uh, uh, good no advisor is a lot more than you think. And then, uh, and then you have a place where they can cultivate. Whether it's a mountain, whether it's a river, where it's a valley, where there's a tree. And that's what happened in Shakyamuni Buddha. He found a Bodhi tree. Okay, that's all he needed. That's a place. That's a way place right there. And then called cultivator. Okay, uh, so uh, but. Um, but the premise is that, is that you need to help them create blessings. Okay? Can I be blunt? Or you would rather I be polite? Huh? I, 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 I need to stress this because you didn't, you, I'm, I'm sure most of you don't, uh, don't, don't quite uh, get it. Okay? My generation, I mean, his disciples, I'm, I'm, I'm an oddball. I didn't help him at all, okay? But his disciples was a great, were of great help to him. They made a vow to help him propagate their dharma. That's why his, his disciples became a light. Okay? But then, uh, but then, unfortunately, they are not doing much. Uh, to help their Chin disciples plant blessings. Okay, so you notice the difference between the second generation over there versus the third generation. Second generation was, and you pay attention, boys and girls, the second generation is what your actually generation is doing. We are what? Breaking new grounds, erecting new buildings, invading territory, conquering territories. Yes? That's what they used to do over there. It no longer is the case. We're doing that, that's why you're growing so quickly. Okay, so I'm trying to tell you that one of the biggest way to plant blessing is to help your good knowing advisor. Somehow, I don't know why the Chinese didn't explain it to the third generation. Okay, over there. But it's clear to me, I watch them and say, oh, that's what has happened. Because second generation, they're enlightened. A bunch of them are enlightened. Mm, if you call that. But the third generation, they're like, 
They stop cold turkey. Nothing else is happening. It's so dull. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm very blunt. Okay? Uh, uh, so that's why the temple is so small. No one comes. Uh, but but the, the third generation is not making it because they are not really generating enough blessings. So that's why, that's why, uh, that's why we have to grow. I'm imitating Master Shenhua. We have to grow in order for you to become enlightened. Should you choose to help, you become enlightened quicker. But eventually, by the time you're 60, 70 years old, and you decide, that, well, you know, God else is going to do the rest of my life. Let me help a little bit. So that's why a police woman says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to sit up at night and you know, not sleep, and you know, sit, sleep, and then I meditate all day and you know, whatever, you know, I go to work, I still meditate, I still cultivate. Is she going to become a lion? Probably not. <laughs> She's helping herself. You helping yourself, how on earth are you going to become a lion? Unless you have blessings already. Well, I take it back. But that's why if after a while you're not making progress and you're not anywhere near enlightenment, you better re-examine your methodology. Hmm? Hmm? Don't, be, don't be so one-dimensional. Okay? And the first step that we train you is to grind it out. Learn how to grind it out. We eventually have to be smarter. Okay, grinding right out is part of the base, but uh, certain teaching is the shortcuts. Chinese is too slow, so Master Shiva had to bring the shortcuts to the to the U.S. Okay, uh, which is not available in in China. Anyway. Yes, number four. No? Okay. Yes, busy body. I mean, uh, nine. Master, does this Dharma only apply for left home people or just regular persons, lay per person can be able to do that? It applies to people the Master Shenhua likes. For me, I don't know. And the people like going online, having far away from the temple, what can they do to be able to serve? None of my business. Yes, number eight. Um, I was wondering, uh, in uh, Master Shen uh, students, some are enlightened. Um, if one is enlightened, isn't it a natural inclination to help living beings? And so I see a contradiction in not, them not allowing or creating a field of blessings for their students. What, what's, why is it, what, what's the obstruction there? I don't know. This in Mahayana, it's Hinayana Mahayana and Mahayana Mahayana. Maybe, maybe they only got the Hinayana part of Mahayana meaning they're enlightened, but they only understand within the scope of Hinayana. Mahayana, Mahayana is as vast as the ocean. Hinayana is like a pond. So you'll be a king of the pond, but nobody in the vast ocean. So what do you want? You stay in the pond, you stay, you go to the ocean. We're venturing into the ocean, we're nobody. Huh? We're nobody. Because yeah, so many enlightened beings, so many great bodhisattvas, so many, you know, we are nothing. Nothing to be proud of. The accomplish is nothing. They accomplish nothing at all in the, in the scope of things. 
What's there to be proud of? We are nothing. We got nothing. We attain nothing. We know nothing. We are stupid. Well, less stupid than some people. We're still stupid. Yes, three. Su said, Shufu's disciple continued his legacy through sutra teachings and upholding precepts. This is no small thing. There is a new temple in the Redwood Forest which students have a hand in realizing. Good for them. If you're in line, I'm happy for you. I have no problems. But if you're not enlightened, whose fault is it? Hmm? Anyone else? You see, if you listen to this and you feel defensive, then you don't understand the Dharma at all. You listen to this and you feel you need to justify yourself, why so and so, you don't understand why I just talked about it all. It's not a criticism. It's a statement of facts. I'm revealing the, the Master Shenhua's profound teaching. We're imitating that in a way. Okay, anyone else? Yes, three. Uh, Sue said, We are Master Hung Shur's students too. Be fair, they are doing much to help. And Haiti is asking, Master, we are not living close to the temple. How do we create blessings? Ask him. You are his disciples, why do you ask me? Anyone else? Four. Master, from what you said, we might have blessings previously, like a previous life or lives. Yes. And then we can also develop blessings now. Yes. To reach enlightenment, not, you know, if we feel like maybe we didn't have anything from before, at least we can say, still now I can do it. I can still work towards it now. It's all those, as, this, I, as I said yesterday, and then someone in San Jose picked it up immediately, I said, all those just words, blessing, prior life, blessing this life, more blessing, more blessing, and so forth, those are just words. Those are sales pitches. They're meaningless. It's for salespeople. For people say, I'm disciple of so-and-so. I, my master, is enlightened. And they, they, are, they have a track record and so forth. Those are excuses. Those are just words. Are you enlightened? That's the bottom line. How long have you been practicing? Are you enlightened? Are you planting blessings, enough blessings to be enlightened? And why not? How long have you been doing this? How come you're not enlightened yet? Huh? It's a certain teaching dharma. In among you, there should be some who take... What? I say older to follow me. 15 years? Yeah? Well, taking, taking 15 years, become enlightened. 10 years, become enlightened. Some took one year. How come you're not? It's, it's not about them, it's about you. How come you're not? What's your excuse now? That you follow instructions? That your teacher is a great enlightened monk? And how come you're not enlightened? I'm very brutal, I'm very blunt. If I spend my life doing this, I told myself, if I'm not enlightened, eventually, 
It's a waste of life. I wasted my life. It's not about Master Sheryl, it's about me ultimately. Am I going to become enlightened? That's what matters to me. That's the only thing that matters to me. Yes, I'm happy that he's enlightened. I'm happy he has a lot of enlightened disciples. If we do this, if I do this, I continue to do this and, and forsake my retirement to the Bahamas, am I going to be enlightened? Otherwise, it's all words. Yes, three. Master, this is Haiti, your disciple. We oh, are, my disciple. Okay. We are not living close to the temple. How do we create blessings? <laughs> In, we have, what is it? At least 5,000 videos on dharmas. Is a fair, fair thing? Because someone just complained to me, he said, Master, last weekend, you spoke seven hours of Dharma. Meaning, I translated seven hours of, of Dharma for you. I mean, that's, that's what she meant. I said, oh, yeah, I, I, thank you, thank you, thank you. For it. <laughs> it's not about me, it's about her. You know. But it sounded it's about me. <laughs> so, so I said, so, so I look back and say, wow, the last 15 years, we average lots and lots of videos that we, even when we were poor, okay, uh, you know, even my disciple, my early disciple said, okay, you thinking about doing, putting, you know, buying uh, uh, storage space for your video, uh, your videos, dumb videos, here's 50 bucks for you. <laughs> I said, oh, how generous. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so, that's how it started. It's, she was one of the first few who says, Master, here's 50 bucks for you towards that purpose. Okay? And, and we had no money and everything, but we said, and they said yeah, the, if we're going to have Dharma, it's going to have to be shared. Contrary to over there, where they have the Dharma, is, you know, it's ours. You can't have it. Huh? You can't have it. You have to go through us. Our Dharma is that it's wide open. Okay, so we throw it on the internet. Do whatever you want with it. Okay, uh, massage it, uh, mutilate it, destroy it. We can't care less. Okay, uh, copy it, sell it again, change it, put your name on it, add a few more. You know, uh, 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 externalist teachings and call it your own teaching. Who cares? Okay. Uh, but so we actually have a, a, like thousands of videos, I would say. Is that fair? Did anyone uh, do a tally of uh, videos we have online? And, and then we, we're struggling. We say, how are we going to store all this? Okay. Because we're looking at the storage space running out so quickly. And we buy these SSDs, whatever, those storage things, you know, one terabyte, two terabytes, four terabytes, eight terabytes, and they just gobbled up and so quickly. And we didn't know what to do. I said, if we, you know, we, we have to spend money to buy these things, and then they will deteriorate over time. They go bad, so we need to have a duplicate. Okay, what are we gonna do? And then in 10 years, 5, 10 years, these duplicate, duplicate will deteriorate and die. And I only have to, you know, get more of the duplicates, of the duplicates. <laughs> uh, and, you know, and I, I was struggling. I didn't know what to do. And, and one day, okay, and uh, the bill keeps on going up. One day, one of my disciples, early disciples, he says, you too. We cannot afford to duplicate, let YouTube duplicate it for us. Let YouTube back it up for us. So instead of going for 4K, we went down to 1080p. So that we have unlimited backups. 
Okay, so that's helping. Yes? When you help, meaning you have to make some kind of impact. Yes, I help clean, I help uh, clean the kitchen, I help do dishes, I help uh, clean the floor, I follow instructions. Whoopee. Yes, three. Master, it shows you have 2,144 videos online. Only 2,000? My own videos? Yeah. 44. <laughs> you see? It's available. Do whatever you want with it. Okay? Make fun of it. Draw mustaches on my face. Oh, I care. Put horns on my face. I don't care. Yes, three. Daniel is asking, what kind of blessings Buddhists have to create to get enlightened and go to the Pure Land? Is this the Buddhist Daniel or the Catholic Daniel? The Catholic Daniel. Huh? Catholic Daniel. We're not going to answer him. <laughs> That's his spy number three. You realize that, don't you? He's from the church. <laughs> Any, anyone else? When you help creating blessings, he's creating oodles of blessings. Not just, I help. Your help has to make a difference. Yes? Not all help is the same. Hmm. And that's why you help and help and help and you still are not enlightened. <laughs> okay. Can you go back to the great teaching instead of gossiping here. Okay. The Chinese, this is why this is why I'm this blunt because because you see that's what the Chinese system did to my the third generation. They don't spell it out for them. This is imitate, you know, this did what they told my in you know, the second generation. But in the third generation, they don't give, they don't really understand what really happened. And that's why I'm helping too. I follow instruction too. You follow instruction, it don't matter. Follow the ones that matter. That's how you become enlightened. Not all instructions are the same. Oh, well, we lost a few more people online. All right, so far so good. So here, here uh, you encounter, you have to encounter uh, uh, this lifetime. Uh, this lifetime, uh, if you encounter the door uh, of a certain teaching, okay? So at this lifetime, you are able to meet with this Dharma door of the certain teaching, okay? And there, there are countless certain teaching Dharma doors, okay? The great teacher is only referring to that. Uh, it's not about which Dharma door. The Koreans are so proud of themselves. They say the Dharma, certain teaching Dharma door we have, we met with, is Hua To. Yes? That's the one. Okay? Chan has more than 2,000 certain teaching Dharma doors. And you have one. Okay? Why do you have more than one? Because one may not work for you. Then you try number two. Then you try number three. You try number four. And so forth and so forth. Is that clear? 
So this lifetime uh, you is very it's it's very fortuitous here in this context here in this lifetime you six patriarch the six patriarch telling his disciple you my disciples in your current life are lucky enough to encounter with this sudden teaching Dhamma door of mine. But the Chinese don't say that, do they? They say, in this nighttime, you encounter the door of sudden teaching. This is very precise. It's, you are so lucky. You met with me and you are the recipient of my sudden teaching. Dharma doors. That's how you should understand this. We are not Chinese, but this is what they mean. So far, so good? Shall we continue? Because you encounter this sudden teaching Dharma door, you will be suddenly enlightened to your self-nature, according to the English translation, and see the honor of the world. Okay? Yeah. Let's look at translation. Tun Wu. Tu Xing Jian Si Sun. No. Wrong translation. This is he's an idiot. Whoever certifies is also an idiot. How dare you destroy the six patriarchs' teaching? Hmm? You decommissioned. This lifetime, you encounter the certain teaching Dhamma door. Which helps you enlighten, attain certain enlightenment and see yourself in nature. which help you uh, s- certainly enlighten to your, your self-nature, okay, and see the, see the Buddha. Not the honor of the world, that's Chinese for the Buddha. Okay? This part is wrong translation. And Hu Wu here means that this is the secret of this teaching that, that the Chinese have that we don't if we allow this abortion of a translation. What he means is this. This lifetime you are lucky enough to meet with certain teaching Dharma door, which help you suddenly enlighten to your self nature and see the Buddha. Let me elaborate. Okay? Change the English. It's just slight variation, but, but this is why this is what this is why these people don't understand Master Master Huineng's teaching at all. He says, when you meet a good no advisor, let me can I can I elaborate for you? You don't care. Okay, fine. We move on. If you wish to cultivate, what, 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 
Oh, oh you want that? Oh, 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 excuse me. You, 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 want, you want me to elaborate? Okay, I will do it because you're not Chinese. <laughs> Chinese don't need elaboration. Okay. Okay. What he means is this. You have this body here. This Jin Cheng is this body. Your body. Okay. Okay. Kimchi lady's body. Okay. Uh, Xin En's body. You have this body. Okay. And you met with this certain teaching, meaning that the six base chart says, you met me. Now you met me. The first sentence is, you met me. And I teach you the certain teaching. This certain teaching, what it does is that it helps you reach certain enlightenment. Meaning what? When I give you the certain teaching, you will become enlightened. That's how I don't give, otherwise, unless you become enlightened, I'm not going to give it to you. I give it to you because I know you become, you reach certain enlightenment. So don't sit there and, and moan and, and what's the, the the uh, the other word moan and groan and and come on Jim wine what's the impolite word oh, thank you thank you thank you you heard him I'm gonna say the bad word I mean I'm speaking Dharma <laughs> you're helping you're helping. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, moan and, you know, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. you, you, can, you can moan and groan as, you know, Jeez, this guy is so polite. I mean, God, he must be such a well brought up, you know, unlike us, huh? Street people <laughs> and GIs, huh? <laughs> Soldiers and warriors. Okay. Uh, so, so they meet this. You know, I, it's no point in say, "Why not me?" Okay, and this is this is in the Chinese system. They don't complain. They don't say, "How come you don't teach me? How come I'm not enlightened yet?" They just grind it out. They just they just put in the grunt work, make more kimchi and more kimchi and more kimchi. No say, how come how come you you know how come everyone else is enlightened and I give you a lot of kimchi to eat and you I'm not even enlightened. Because you're not ready yet. That's why it's not given to you. So don't be so petty and say, oh, oh, oh. All of us help you. We're all doing the same thing. We are co-cultivators. We've been helping you. We disciples, master, hung, hung, something. Uh, stupid people. If you're helping, how come you haven't encountered the sun teaching yet? This is a teaching for the elite. You see, Master Hui Neng, when he was leaving, he says, the rest of the losers, I don't care. But there's some of them who are almost ripe. I worry about them. Hmm? Because no one will teach them anymore. Okay? So, so that's why these, these instructions are, are uh, uh, highly, to me, highly fascinating, uh, entertaining in a way. Uh, uh, but you see, it says, this certain teaching, this lifetime, you encounter a, uh, the certain teaching, he says, this lifetime, I'm teaching you this certain teaching. I mean, I'm bestowing a certain teaching upon you. That's why you will certain become enlightened to your self-nature. 
You see, the, this is a continuation of sec, the second verse, okay? Because I give this certain teaching to you, that's why you will reach certain enlightenment and see the Buddha. That's what he means. He doesn't waste time. And that's why we can be different. The Chinese, they take abuse. The Koreans, they take abuse. They say, oh, I follow, I follow, follow, follow. And one day I become a lion. No, we don't have time. I don't have time to wait for you. And that's why we spell it out for you. You see, the Chinese, they don't have which help you. But it's implied here in his teaching. Okay? Mm. And once you reach you suddenly enlightened to your self-nature, you will see the Buddha. That's all. There's no war on one here. <laughs> because you use the word honor one in Chinese, it's a, it's a, it's a term of adulation, uh, deep respect, but it's not what he means. He means when you be, see yourself in nature, you see the Buddha. For us Westerners, that's all that matters. Because it's about you. You should become enlightened to yourself in nature and see the Buddha yourself. That's what this teaching is about. The Chan teaching is all that that's about. It's not about world honor one. Who cares whether the world honors the Buddha or not? You understand? That's why I changed the translation a little bit because I, I tried to convey the teaching here. The word honor one is Chinese way of honorific type of term to denote deep respect and regards and all those things. That's how the six page chart looks at the Buddha. But for us Westerners, we don't have that kind of background. Okay? All we care about is the Buddha. Let's take a look. And once we see the Buddha, that not tell Daniel. We tell we talk to him about God and Jesus and everyone else, but no Buddhas. Okay. So far so good? Next, shall we continue? Any questions? So we, later, you go back, you look at the translation, the original translation. This, in my translation, you see there's, a, there's, a, there's a, the only a difference of a few words, but actually those few words are the difference in the culture. Okay? I doubt that the young Chinese nowadays can understand the Chinese they're reading. The way I explain it to you. Because the Chinese now follow our Western educational standards. They all go to Stanford and Harvard and, and you know, MIT and those things and, and adopt them as the standards of learning. No, it's a Chinese wisdom is just incredibly profound. Next. Rou Yu Xing Mi Jo Fo. Okay. If you wish to cultivate and you know, aspire to Buddhahood, good translation. Bu Chu He Chu Ning Chiu Chen Yi Ning. 
Okay, anyway. Yeah. It's still more. It's not the end of this. There's a continuation. Unless you can see the truth in your own mind, the truth is the cause of realizing Buddhahood. Hmm. Okay, fine. There's no continuation, and we, we, we explain it contained by itself. Okay? So, if you wish to cultivate and uh, Aspire to Buddhahood, yeah, it's literary, that's nice, it's pleasant, okay, that's good. We keep it, aspire to Buddhahood. Buddha, uh, how do you pronounce this? Huh? Ning. 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 Yes? Ning means what? Shall I look for the on a dictionary myself? Ning. It's not Ning. Ni Ni It has many meanings. Um, Me. Okay. I want to make sure before my op my open my my big mouth and and uh, say stupid things. And the Chinese will laugh at me. <laughs> he said, he's the only Chinese, he's trying to explain Chinese to us. <laughs> Ning. He chu Ning. Chiu Chan. Ning. Ước lửa phòng. Phèo mô phòng. Nghe. Sẵn vơ. Ok. 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 Very good. Ok. Ni. Okay. Uh, thank you for your patience. Okay. Q and A. Go ahead. Uh, I think it's just a um, attempt to repeat that. I think it's attempt to attempt to. A different dictionary than mine. Are you looking at your Chinese dictionary? Huh? Or are you just uh, based on your knowledge of the language? My dictionary is different. My dictionary is an older Chinese dictionary. Hmm? So in the dictionary, there's one, two, three, four, five, seven, six, seven. But um, basically, the most used one is to kind of like t the the it translate as intent or plan or propose. Yes, that's one. Yeah. What else? Um, 
estimate. Yeah, kind guess, of like planning. Guess, estimate. Guess what you're intent to, to do. Um, or direction, which direction? Is there a guess? To go towards is there a guesstimate kind of concept? Yes, that's what it means right here. Ning, chiu. So, what it means here, because the Chinese they can't decide, is too many uh, meanings. Here, okay, here the, 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 the patriarch says, if you look to cultivate and, and want to become a Buddha, okay, and uh, you wouldn't know, uh, you wouldn't know uh, uh, where to ni uh, chiu to to look the the knee here the Chinese knee this character here means that you have you have to make a guess where to look for okay. Uh, I, I can relate to this because I, when I was practicing, Master Shinwa was dead already, and I asked questions and no one could answer me. Okay, my question was just too stupid for them, I guess. But uh, I didn't have any answers, so what I did is I keep on zigzagging everywhere I, everywhere I go. Like uh, Chung Yin would say, you know, the whole thing is full of waves, the ocean. Okay, it's the same thing with me. You know, I, I looked everywhere every single direction and until until I find something I found something that worked so that's a knee we're talking about I don't know how to translate it for you but that's exactly what happens when you're looking for you don't know so you keep on you, you just okay let's try this let's try that maybe this, this way there's that way there's no pattern there's no clear direction hey Catholic uh, you know what I mean? So that's the knee here, knee chiu, because when you look, you don't know where to look. But the Chinese is so precise. It's exactly what happens to you. You look, but you don't know where to look and how to look. It cannot be translated. Does it make sense? It takes too long to describe the process. It's just that you wouldn't know Where to seek the true? It's not the truth. Again, this, there's a difference between the true and the truth. What's the difference? <sighs> That's why I read this and I say, oh my God, how dare you? Here's the true. Why? It's not the truth. That we're looking for. We are false. We are not real. So we're looking for something that's not false. That's called the true. The truth is all of it. All I ask for is one iota of true so that I can count on it. You understand that kind, that kind of desperation? Huh? Give me one ounce of true. Don't give me the truth. I can't handle the truth. I can only one grain of truth. That's all I can handle. That's all I ask for. I'm so desperate. I don't know what the truth is. All I ask for is an ounce, a grain of true things. That's all. I'm that desperate. You know what I mean? Even so when you look, you're cultivating which is a, a quest in itself, a journey in itself, and a journey towards Buddhahood, towards go to heavens, eventually be transcend the heavens, and go to, the, the, and go to Buddhahood and so forth. So that's why the Catholic and Christian are on the right path. There's no problem, okay? No jealousy, no criticism. Uh, even those people who follow those people, they're on the right path. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Okay? 
We all progress at different paths, at different pace, different times. Nothing wrong with that. But don't tell me from there and say, uh, can you tell me how to do it my, from my perspective, from where I'm at? Where you at, stick to where you at. Why do I have to, 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 to stick my mouth in, you know, in, in word, what you're doing? It's none of my business. You understand? Stupid question. Is it clear? Be Christian. Be Catholic. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're happy with that, stick with it. Eventually, you get there. That's all. You will get there, guaranteed. A little bit longer than us, but it's not for everyone. Okay? Stick over there. Follow him. There's nothing wrong. Stick to it. Don't abandon it. Okay? Okay? But, but for us, okay, we want Buddhahood a little bit quicker than you. I want to become enlightened, become Buddha a little bit quicker than them. That's why we're doing this. That's, that's my rule. That's my standard. Okay? This is what we're talking about with the six page chart. He says, You guys are superior people. Okay? And I need to be truthful to you. I know what, you, what you're going through. Let me tell you. You want to cultivate, you want to become a Buddha, yeah? Okay? I'll be blunt with you. Okay? You wouldn't know where to look for the truth. You wouldn't. So you go and learn Guru, I mean uh, yoga. A part of your search. You learn Taoism, you learn Hinayana, you learn whatever. That's part of our quest. That's a natural, it's a natural search. Why? Because we would know where to look. That's the truth. That's the truth. We don't know where to look. So it's, it's nothing wrong with them sticking to where, you know, where they are. What do you do with, you know, in Tai Chi, in Qigong, in uh, acupuncture, in uh, Hinduism, and whatever. It's part of the search. So that eventually you wake up and you say, well, it's not bringing me to where I want, I really want. Okay? I hear about all these things. I follow this path. But it's really not ultimately what I want. Same thing with me personally. I want to be an executive. I want to be a rich and powerful capital industry. That's my aspiration. I want to be a government official and do good for the country, for the people. I got close to those people and say, yeah. God, these people are disgusting. Why would I be like that? We're not, we're not, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't be pleased with myself. Yes, I have power. Yes, I have money. Yes, I have all those things. But I wouldn't like myself. I can't live with that. Okay? So, so we go through lives, our lives, I mean, we search for things, okay? In particular, you look for this big prize here called Buddhahood. You look for this, this sense of accomplishment, meaning of life, okay? Through cultivation. Let me be blunt with you. You would not know where to look for the truth. It's true. It's, it's the truth. You don't know where to look. That's why they're over there. He's over there. And we're here. See how it ties to the prior thing? 
the, the prior two uh, uh, verses, he says, you, this lifetime, are lucky enough to meet with the sudden teaching. They're not. And he continues, he says, I know you are cultivators. Yes, you have high aspirations. Okay? You're very demanding by nature. But let me warn you, you would not know where to look for the truth. You don't. Where? Is it in the heavens? <laughs> Good luck. Is it over there? <laughs> Hell no. Seven. Time for me to make a fool of myself, but, uh, but Master, don't we know the pursuit of the truth comes with learning to drop your afflictions and once that's done, it'll be revealed to you. The truth will be revealed that you can determine that because you have a clear mind and you possess wisdom. It's true, in theory. <laughs> theory? Yeah, I, I, I said yesterday, it's a sales pitch. It's Buddhist sales pitch to me. Okay? Chinese do it to themselves. I won't do it to you. Okay? Yes, we look for all those things. things one thing, wonderful things that happen. We reduce our afflictions. Yes, all those are true. But when? When, I'm gonna, when am I going to become enlightened? When am I going to be born, reborn to the Western Blissfield land? Tell me. Okay? Don't tell me about you know, how wonderful he is over there, how great the Buddha is, and, 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 and uh, it's the best place there is, and great people get there. I say, I want to get there. Now. My father's dying. I want him to get there. Don't tell me how wonderful it is. I know how wonderful it is. I believe already. Just tell me how to get there. Tell me how to get become enlightened. And in order to become enlightened, you have to know where to look. Yes? And the sixth patriarch said, you would not know where to look. I tell you the truth now. I'll be honest with you. You wouldn't know where to look. We've been selling this sales pitch to you that yes, you can become Buddha, our hearts, and all those things. But you know where to look for them. So far, so good. This is a statement of fact. It's not a criticism. You see, don't be like these defensive people saying, are you talking about me? No. It's just the facts is that none of us really knows where to look. That includes me. All I do for you, I show you where I've been. That's all I, I can do for you. But you ask me, how do, have you found a way to become a Buddha? I say, I don't know where to look. It's home to me. This is so brutal, but it's the truth. Okay? And in, in, in a practical scale, okay, as you cultivate, you are confused by all these hallucinations, okay? All these mirages, okay? And therefore, therefore, it's so critical for us to find Terra firma. See? Look it up, boys and girls. Huh? Terra firma.
What is it? Solid ground. We need to have a place to stand on. We cannot sink, keep on sinking and sinking and sinking. And that's the true. The terra firma is the true. Something you can depend on. You can stand on. The true. An ounce of true. That's all we ask for. You would not even know where to find that, that little bit of truth that you can count on. You say, with this, I can count on this. I cannot count on the things that confuse me. My, you know, my job, my money, my, you know, notoriety, my wife. Yes, a, he's so intense, this guy. How, how do we reconcile this blindness with uh, our, the ability of our dharma selecting eye? It's a sales pitch, my friend. <laughs> Mahayana, these, these Chinese, they, they, they have a lot of sales pitches. Yes, the, there's a Dharma selecting eye, but ultimately, how do you know is the true? By finding terra firma, firma first, then you know it's a Dharma selecting eye comes after. You don't just say I'm used by Dharma selecting eye. Has it worked for you? I'm using my Dharma selecting eye. <laughs> okay, so the, the six page track says, I know you are well intentioned, I know you have lots of aspirations, but let me be honest with you. You don't know where to look for the truth. It's that simple. You don't know. You should, you, should, you, should, you should realize that. Okay? Meaning what? Don't believe what others tell you. You know what I mean? Huh? Because even if they found their, their true, okay? And you follow them, eventually you get there to ourselves. But it doesn't do much for you right now because all I ask for personally is give me just one true I can count on. And if I were to depend on myself to find it, I will not be able to find it. That's what the message is. Yes, Daniel. Six. So the question would be, to who do you depend to find the truth if it's not yourself? God, who else? For God, God. must you ask everything? For Buddhist. <laughs> we look to God too. In the Avatam Saka Sutra later, chapter one. Okay? It turns out God is one of the good guys, not the way you guys think. It's not what you think. Actually, it's, it's, a, it's more involved than that. It's just like uh, what happened to the, the screaming girl. Or, or her brother. Yeah. What do you? How do you talk to them? Here, have some candies. Let's go play. Right? You don't tell, talk to them about philosophy, of life, huh? About love. You talk to them about fun, man. Yes. And that's just the analogy. Okay? God talks to them about fun. 
But actually, God is a lot more than that. It's honest truth. You find out, okay? I'm advertising because I'm finishing up on this sutra here, and we go into chapter one. So, tune in. Okay. All right. So, I I apologize to all of you again. Like I'm I'm too blunt and I'm coarse and. I wasn't trained properly by my master, so that's why I speak to you in a very coarse fashion, uh, unbecoming of a monk, okay? But that's who I am. I haven't found the truth yet. Uh, okay, but this is what the six page chart is telling us cultivators, okay? Beware the fact that when you try to look for the truth, you don't know where to look. Don't be so sure of yourself. Okay? That's all he's saying. He, he doesn't offer a solution. He just said, you have a problem. You better know what your problem is. I know Brady says, go on, tell me what the solution. Well, hold on to your horses, my friend. Okay? We're talking, we have a problem first. Do you understand? Because what happened to these people say, I don't have a problem. I'm doing all the right things. Right? I help out. I'm a faithful follower. Have you found that ounce of truth yet? Okay. Forget about the commentaries, okay? I'm, I, I don't like my own commentaries. Can we move on? Oh, no, time is up. What? Mary goes, well, I drove two hours for this only? <laughs> <laughs> 278 Sutra text. Unless you can see the truth within your own mind, the truth which is the cause of realizing Buddhahood. Not to see yourself in nature, but to seek the Buddha outside. If you think that way, you are deluded indeed. Okay. Mm. So actually, it's a continuation. Oh, God, these translations are killing me. Okay. Uh, so uh, he says, uh, uh, you wish to cultivate, become a Buddha, yeah? Huh? Huh? Uh, uh, and you don't know where to look for the truth. Yeah? 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 You don't know where to look for the truth. <clears throat> uh, why is it important for you to look for the truth? It's important to look for the truth because unless you see the truth within your own mind, okay, correct this to be truth, the truth, not, not, not truth. If, unless you can see the truth within your own mind. All he's saying that you don't need to see the truth. You need to see the truth within your own mind. Does it make sense to you now why I insist it should be the truth, not the truth? Okay. Uh, okay. You see the truth, then that's correct. Uh, uh, and this, the next translation is way off target. We will not make this public domain because we want to keep this to ourselves. We agree on that. No Catholics, no Christians, no no one else, just ourselves. Okay? Because 
they're looking at all the wrong places. <laughs> because this translation shows that they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> That truth, that truth, remember, see, you, unless you can see the truth, so, unless you can see that truth, you understand? Not this truth, that truth. Okay? It's not what you think it is. It's that because it's, it's not what you think. That truth. Does it make sense? There's a difference between this and that. That is not where you think. This is where you are. That is not where you are. Because this is where you confuse. That is where you're not confused. This is false. That is the truth. You like? Huh? It's that. It's not this. English can be very precise. You says the Chinese don't get, don't get it. And the Chinese in hell say are so quiet, so silent all this whole two hours. <sighs> no wonder. Go ahead, Seven. Well, it seems to me, Master, that once you begin to drop afflictions and... Uh, you, you will start to see the true self nature. So that it seems to be that's a, an attempt to realizing Buddhahood as you drop your attachments. <coughs> hang in there, hang in there. Yes, three. It's not what you think. Yes, three. Uh, Alta D is asking, Master, yesterday you said don't trust yourself, but the Sixth Patriarch Sutra says only trust yourself. When do we trust ourselves? When, <coughs> when do we trust others? When I tell you. Okay. Yu Chen, Ji Shi, Cheng Fu Yin. The Chinese is much better than English, let me tell you. The Chinese is so, his teaching is so beautiful, and I, there's no way to translate this. So I have to translate in a way that will take out the, the punchiness and the accuracy of the teaching so that you can understand. But if you're Chinese, I think you have an edge over the rest of us because this Chinese is so precise. It says, the Chinese says, if you have the truth, meaning what? Once you found that ounce of truth, you see how precise the Chinese is? If you have that ounce of truth, all we can do is that truth. I have to abbreviate it for punchiness because the Chinese is very punchy. You have that truth. Okay? You have that truth. Okay? So we. Translate it, I translate it as that true. I drop the verb. The Chinese has a verb because you have to, you have to, yo, is that you have to possess it. The Chinese is beautiful. I adore the sixth patriarch. I mean, I worship him. I never seen anyone give instruction this precise. His instruction is so precise. So beautiful. You have to own that truth. You cannot find it and they say, oh, I found it. What's the matter with you? You found it, you better own it. Does it make sense? You found a treasure. It better be yours. Make it yours. Don't say, oh, I found the truth. It's much as it's true. I feel like shooting you. How dare you talk like that? His true is his true, not yours. You have to own it yourself. Is it clear? 
Just like these people, they talk. Oh, I know the truth. I know we all become Buddhas. We all we are the Buddha nature. What the hey? And talk, 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 talk. I follow, I follow, I bear, I, I study, I cultivate. You know, I'm a faithful follower. Where is the true? Do you own it? Okay? So the Chinese is beautiful, okay? And I see it's really boys and girls. You have to learn Chinese. It's so beautiful, okay? We don't do justice when we translate this, really, okay? Uh, to the best of my ability, all I can do is drop the verb. But the verb actually has a reason for being there. You own it. So, all, so if I were to translate properly, if you own that truth, is a proper translation. But when you do that, then you lose the punchiness of Yochen. Yochen is very punchy. Boom! We knock you out. Sweep you off your feet. Like... Men used to do women. They take a club and hit them in the head and drag them, well, you know, home. <laughs> All the girls are giggling. Uh, do, you, do you translate that? In the Stone Age, I don't know the Koreans know that. In the Stone Age, when men got married, hmm, they found a girl they like, the one with hair on the face. <laughs> okay, they said, oh, beauty, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so what did he do? He take a club, a big, big club. Okay, he come over and hit her on the head. So it's, and she passed out, okay? And she fell on the floor. Okay? So he grabbed her by the feet, put her on the shoulders, and drag her home. Okay? And he says, now I have a wife. And that is the analogy for you You have to own it. Yeah, you grab it. It's yours. Okay? Okay. Uh, Koreans are not violent enough for me. Uh, that true is the very cause, is the very cause. Ji here is ji shu. Here is the very cause. Ji is emphasis. The very, very, very. I love you very, very, very much. That's why I hit you. Even so, Joe is not smiling. His master is so violent. <laughs> okay? You see that? That true that you own is the very cause for you to accomplish Buddhahood, realize Buddhahood. Okay? So far, so good? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, time is up. Thank you all. Oh, please, please. <laughs> Rebirth transference. You know, this is a secret. We're unlocking a Chinese secret. It didn't sound like much. Looked like we did a lot of translation today, but that's unveiling the secret Chinese teaching that's lost in their own language. So what we just did here is very meritorious. If we're wrong, we all fall to the house. If we're right, we all have plenty causes to be due for sudden enlightenment Dharma doors. Okay, so uh, time will tell. How's that?
but it's not us. It's just that we're sharing this, okay? To the rest of our friends, but no outsiders.